Hi and welcome back to my channel Healthy Living with Christina Stangwa. I'm extremely excited to be back. I, as always, to be honest, I'm ever excited. Like this energy is always here. It's literally always here. And as always, I'll just ask that you like, share and subscribe. And just in case you have not been receiving notifications, there's a high chance you haven't clicked on the notification bell. So please do that. That way you get a notification every single time we upload a video. Right? Okay. So last week, um, we had more of a heart to heart um, encouragement to just keep fighting uh, for a quality life. And after last week's video, I received some questions. And today I will be responding to one particular question, which is finding the one. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so last week I, I mentioned that. Um, when I was, you know, in the past, I never really believed that I would be married. And then, yeah, that happened. So I was asked what my thoughts were on finding the one as well as um, how it happened for me. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Firstly, um, I'd like to say these are my opinions. These are my thoughts. This is Christina's school of thought yes <laughs> just a disclaimer and uh, we can get right into it i'd like to start by saying i do believe that god has um someone special for each and every single one of us uh what makes me say so the bible in isaiah 34 verse 16 says uh, none will lack her mate and i feel like it's such a thoughtful god who knows every hair on your head there's no way he doesn't care about this part of your life which is such a big deal it's like the biggest decision you make uh second to you giving your life to christ right yes so i believe god has someone for each and every one of us but i i do have some challenges with the phrase the one um personally because of two things number one i would say accountability right so in the book of genesis chapter 24 abraham tells his servant to find a wife for isaac and he says though if like an angel is going to show you who the girl is but if she declines she's set free so meaning um even though it was like this beautiful prophetic situation she still had free will so she still had the final say of whether or not she wanted to be a part of this so sometimes the challenge i've had when i'm interacting with certain people about the one is it's almost like they they succumb to that uh, belief only because they they don't want to be accountable because the thing with a relationship is just still you still have to remember that it's your decision you chose to be in this relationship you and your partner so you have to put in the work you have to um yeah just be conscious of that so i always tell my husband i remember even in my vows i always said he's the one that i choose that's how i like to put it i do believe uh, we were divinely placed a hundred percent i do believe that but like i made the decision i'm the one who chose to be with him and he chose to be with me so <laughs> yeah like i said accountability the second thing i have a challenge with is i would say bondage it's like a baby of accountability allow me to share my own personal experience when i was getting born again um in 2013 when i started feeling the lord like drawing me and i just felt like okay god is real and um i want to give my life to christ um in that moment of uh vulnerability like before i knew anything i had no mentors and all of that stuff i barely knew anything i just knew okay god is real and this person a person approached me and um 
of a higher position than me and told me like i believe that god says you're my wife and um and not the way i'm putting it more like <laughs> you know like you were born this is what you were born to do and stuff okay and i was very conflicted because like i said number one i wasn't into the whole idea number two um this person was nothing i was looking for like like if i were to choose to be with someone these aren't the traits that i'm personally looking for the biggest deal breaker for me being actions not matching words and so i remember telling the lord if this is the one I'm a stay single for the rest of my life. <laughs> yes. And so my challenge is sometimes in with the gray area that is love and people believe in falling in love. Like, you know, it was love at first sight. And, and I believe this is the only person that God has for me here on earth. My challenge with that, like I said, is that bondage. This person could be abusive. Um, anything that's just not the perfect will of God and people still stick around they still stay like because this is the one because you know i felt butterflies when i met them and everything and that's where i have a bit of a challenge with that yes as you know the whole channel is an advocate of healthy living and i strongly believe the same god who said in jeremiah 29 11 that the plans he has for you is to prosper and give you a future i don't think that he would be happy seeing any of his children in such a position right now that i've mentioned my challenges i do believe that the one is the one that i choose according to my purpose according to what god um, has planned for me and my the things i yeah you know i think according to my list for lack of a better term yes so how did it happen for me um yes so i think after that whole creepy ordeal i was like i said i was back to just i was just my usual self i wasn't this isn't what i was looking for <laughs> i feel like i literally was living matthew 6 33 like seeking first the kingdom of god and all these other things would like fall into place is literally what it was like for me i just really wanted more for my life and um i i just wasn't fitting into the script that most people seem to be okay with you know you're with someone they cheat they beat you up and all of that stuff and it's like oh what can i do like this is love i didn't i i feel like just poking me like you know that thing african moms you know they like <laughs> just that would be an issue for me and yes yeah, so it was painfully made clear I had these incredibly high standards and stuff and I wasn't coming off my horse. So I just, yeah, I was just doing me and um, it just so happened that we were in under the same mentorship with Apostle Frederick Kaluluma. Like, though it, did, it wasn't like love at first sight. I have mentioned before that when I saw him, I did think he was very good looking. And I continued with my life. I continued working and so was he. Like it wasn't like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. We genuinely just started having a friendship. Like we just used to talk and work together. And it wasn't deep, like at the point where we we're just sharing our hard feelings and whatnot. No, but I just, you know, I just thought that's a great guy who I'm friends with. And he thought that's a cool girl and stuff. I only found out later that he wants to like, but could we? And stuff, yeah. And obviously, eventually, because of how close we were and how um, how much we related, um, feelings developed. <laughs> feelings developed, and like I always say, for me, I need more than just feelings. So. I still needed to be sure that if I make this decision, I'm happy with the decision. Would this person take care of me and everything? So um, we will do a relationship series where I'm with him and he can share his side of the story. But I will give you a preview. His version of the day he 
asked me out was i was just i was interrogating him like what about this what do you want to do with your life and my version is i was like oh and you know i was like screaming in my pillow and everything but i still had to ask the questions like <laughs> like i uh, yeah no i don't want to be with someone and you find like at the age of 35 they feel like they want to give up everything and go live in the amazon and be one with it no i hate bugs i am not a fan of anything that walks on four legs so i had to make sure that if i'm making this decision and, and it's a lifetime decision we are compatible beyond just the fact that we both pray we're both born again i mean doing life like <laughs> Are you gonna provide? Are you gonna like? Do you believe in these things? Are you okay with uh, a person who's comfortable with pursuing their career? Are you okay with the fact that I'm an extremely ambitious lady, and there's so many things that I want to do? I had to see all that in there, right? And above all, above all, for me, the biggest um, determining factor was my circle because these are people who i trust and are people who know me very well and have grown with me and i would always say when it comes to this decision it would be good if you're not making it entirely on your own i know that's a little controversial but what i mean is <laughs> it's your decision a hundred percent you will be accountable for it a hundred percent at the same time it would be good if you had um someone you submit to someone who um you can can both keep you in check and that was like the biggest thing for me i love that we were under that we went to the same church and throughout my relationship i strongly believe the wisdom of our pastors is literally what helped us grow together because you can imagine you pursue this girl and she never wanted to be in a relationship or get married there's a lot about me i feel like that i had to he had to watch me grow <laughs> he literally had to watch me grow and thankfully he wasn't in it alone because you know i had um mentors i could ask certain questions like is this really how guys are is it yes so that was my experience of the one that i chose and the one that chose me so i just wanted to respond to the question share my two cents on it and also encourage you that yes god has somebody for you but do not settle for less <laughs> Please don't settle for less. Um, there's not, there's no need to like rush and everything. I am a strong advocate for it because I got every single thing I wanted, and on top of that, every single thing that I needed, all in one person. And so I believe it's possible for everybody else. And I'm very proud of myself that I never, you know, came off my horse and that my standards were always where they were at. And that conviction came because i believed that my god who says he, he needs me together i don't i don't feel like all of a sudden he'll turn a blind eye and just send me something mediocre no because of my relationship and knowledge with god and because i know a husband is someone who should love a wife like christ loves the church and i've seen and interacted with christ um yeah so that was my experience and I just wanted to encourage you and uh, wish you all the best in the journey as you find the one, as you choose the one. <laughs>